Good day folks. Uh, today in looking at rocks I thought we'd have a look at um, how I use oxalic acid and water to uh, put rocks that have iron coatings or, or brown discoloration into a bath for a week or sometimes more to remove that brown or the iron or, or remove some of it um, to make them look a lot, a lot better. So uh, we're, first of all we'll look at a, a few of the rocks that I've uh, bathed in oxalic acid. Uh, what we might do is a few before and after shots. Now uh, um, oxalic acid and water bath uh, is not perfect as you may know. Um, sometimes it makes a a uh, nice improvement and sometimes just a partial improvement. Um, the main rocks I bath in oxalic acid is uh, uh, iron stain ones and they uh, and in my case it's petrified wood, uh, amethyst which is a bad habit of having a heavy iron coating on it and chalcedony which occurs in my area that is a uh, often covered in this brown iron coating. So first of all, petrified wood. Here's the before shot with the discoloration. Uh, it's a combination of uh, soil, dirt, um, uh, brown minerals and iron minerals. This one's obviously an iron mineral, really obviously. And the same there, that's obviously. So that's the before shot, petrified wood. The after shot is here. It's uh, taken the brown discoloration away, um, made the underlying minerals a little sharper. And there it's removed all the iron. So that's a before and after shot of petrified wood. Next we have amethyst, a much loved material. You can see the inside um, there's not much iron, but on the outside you can get fairly heavy. Even these um, mineral growths you can feel that rough of my finger on there. And that one's very heavy. And this will be four shot of amethyst. Here's the after shot. You see that it removed some of the iron here, but not a perfect job. And that's about the best you can get, or the best I can get. Someone else might be better at it. That one's come up fairly clean. And that one, it's removed a lot of the iron to expose, expose some of the amethyst beneath. Next up, chalcedony. It's iron coating. Inside where I've cut that bit there, um, it's fairly clean, except for where there's a cavity or a crack going through. You can see that it gets inside. But on the outside, very, the iron coating is very thick. And chalcedony is one that works really good. You can see it's cleaned these specimens right up. Now with chalcedony, it's a bit different from the others. It can, it sort of etches the surface. You can see how it's taken on the flat look. And that's the price you pay for um, cleaning chalcedony in a oxalic acid bath. Here it's, it's taken all the iron away. You can see the sur white surface underneath. Um, this is not chalcedony, this is quartz and it works very well on quartz as well, iron that's on quartz. So that's chalcedony. So let's see, let me take you through how I use oxalic acid powder, a container and water to do this job. 
Okay, folks, so first of all, we'll go through um, what you need to start this project. So you're gonna need some iron stained um, rocks, as I mentioned before, petrified wood, amethyst, and chalcedony. You're gonna need some oxalic acid. Now, if I get the camera on here, in the middle of your screen, you should see contains 100% oleic acid. Now, depending on what country you're in or, or where you are, um, I'm not sure what the product's gonna be called for you. In my case, it's called rust and stain cleaner. But when you're in the hardware shop, uh, just look uh, amongst the chemical cleaners, read the labels and look for the oxalic acid ingredient. And that's uh, supplied in the form of a powder. Uh, I have a, an old spoon that's dedicated just for this and nothing else that I keep in there. You can see that the powder is um, attacking the metal of the spoon. You're gonna need a sturdy container. I find plastic works okay. This is an old fertilizer container. You can see there where, the, where my previous jobs have left the, where the iron's been removed and gone into the water, it's left that stain around there. And of course, you're gonna need some water. So, put some water into your container. Um, you can put more in after or tip some out before you um, add the oxalic acid so don't be too concerned about that you may need to know or you will need to know roughly how many litres you're putting in to, to do the correct measurement so I figured I've got three litres of water in there and the directions on my product so you mix 100 grams to one litre of cold water. Now on a previous occasion I've calculated that one heap spoon of my spoonfuls is 30 grams. So I'm going to need three spoonfuls for every litre, altogether nine spoonfuls. Uh, just for the ease of holding the camera with one hand and doing it, I've put the oxalic acid in this container. My instructions say one heaped spoonful. So we do nine of them. So just to recap, we have a sturdy container with a lid, uh, some water, some oxalic acid. In my case, three litres and uh, according to the instructions that's uh, nine heap spoonfuls so we'll give that a stir up mix it in and it appears to be soluble well I know it's soluble so I've done this many times Just mix it until it's all absorbed Don't forget to squirt your steel objects off again or they're going to get clean. Well, oh, well, I might leave it. might be better clean. Um, we'll just brief, quickly hose down any loose dirt from our rocks before we add them. And uh, put them in. going to get it to fit. Very good. And place the lid on. Firm it down. Now I like to, once the lid's sealed on, 
I like to just give it another bit of a shake and I might do that every day when if I remember usually ends up being about every second day I remember to do it and uh, I tuck that container in under my bench there and I purposely leave it sticking out a bit to remind me when I walk past oh yeah I have something in the container I can just reach in and give it a bit of agitation and I'll probably check that in three days time and probably at the end of the week and uh, every few days after that until I'm happy that the acid has done its work on the rocks. There's three different types of rocks in there so uh, some might be ready before the others it's just a matter of keeping them in longer and keep shaking it keep checking it so what's next well once you're happy that your rocks have been uh, cleaned to your satisfaction um, remove them from the the um, solution and hose them off with water i'm just going to uh, simulate um, by with using a rock that's already been cleaned previously so you're happy that um, your rock that was in the solution has been cleaned to your satisfaction so bring it out hose it straight away thoroughly all around hose or clean your fingers with water if you get any on your skin uh, you should be wearing gloves, I suppose. Um, any you get on a wooden bench top, it will clean it superbly. If I if I left a spot there, it would it would it sort of look it sort of bleaches it and brings out the grain really nice. It cleans them. As a matter of fact, it's real uh, treating a wooden bench top or a garden bench top like this with oxalic acid it, um, makes them look really good. Back to the rock, job is done. It's all rinsed, it's clean, most of the iron's been removed. You can, if you wish, you can put it back in for another dose. Um, with Chow's head, and you be careful, you can overdo it and it brings up, I think the color's green. It's, a, it's like a green residue that sticks to the surface. But that's only if you leave it for a long, long period in oxalic acid. You just if you check it regularly, you, you're pretty right, and you and you'll do a good job. So that's it, folks. That's uh, cleaning iron stained rocks with oxalic acid. You'll probably find a lot more info online, uh, a lot more details that I haven't mentioned or I don't know. There, there's I think you'll find that some rocks shouldn't be put in there on calcite maybe one of them but i'm not certain i only ever do petrified wood amethyst chalcedony and, a, and a, a few others all right if you like the video subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and uh, leave me a comment about what you think about cleaning rocks with oxalic acid thank you